what's going on y'all so um happy tuesday it is tuesday march the 28th um today is like a chill day for me i'm really taking a little bit of time for myself actually going to a doctor's appointment but before i get in there i want to tell y'all something i want to let y'all know this there are many ways to start your business without just going out there buying a 65 75 000 food truck or trailer you, nece you don't necessarily have to go out and purchase those big items in order to start building your business. You really can just go to your local health department, environmental health, and say, hey, what are my requirements? What do you guys need from me um, so I can start my business or so I can start um, so I can start just selling food or selling whatever items you sell? I want a lot of people to understand that people will sell you an idea or sell you a dream so they can make a profit off of it. There is no way in the world I'm going to withhold the information from you that it took me hours and days to figure out. Um, a lot of times you have people that know how to get into industries, know how to get into things, and they won't tell you because they're afraid that you're going to be their, um, their competition. There is absolutely no competition when it comes to making money. And the reason why I say that is because there's enough money for everybody to get it. You just have to have the mindset that says, I don't care what you say, how you feel, and what you're thinking about me or what I got going on. I'm getting out here to go grind. Go to your local health department. Go to your local. Don't even, you don't have to go. Call your local health department. Um, if they say you need a tent, do I need, um, let's see, do I need some kind of, screen around the tent in my area you have to have a screen around uh walmart now has a tent for like 75 bucks that uh i saw this past week 75 dollars. go get you one of those tents set up in there even if you frown the outside they just want you to have a tent for when you prepare food you don't have bugs just flying all in, in and out around your food um maybe you can go buy a shell of a trailer and say, hey, I'm going to use a shell of a trailer to cook out of. Ask them, what do you need to have in the trailer so you can do that? Say, I'm just going to use it to set up on the weekends or I'm setting, you know, now I'm not telling you to do it every day. Now, I'm not advising you to do, do this illegal because you're going to make it hard for yourself. But if there are loopholes or there are ways that you can get around things, do it. If they say, okay, you need a food, tr if you have a trailer, all we require for you to have is a hand washing station. Build you a hand washing station. Go on Amazon, get your um, it's called a, a a flow, easy flow, water pump. Grab you a couple of water tanks. Um, more more likely they have to be fifteen percent bigger. One has to be fifteen percent bigger than the other. Your waste tank has to be fifteen percent bigger than your water tank. Get all the stuff. Go get it. Find out what you need to have. Um, if you have questions, reach out to me. I'm I'm not the type of person that's not gonna. Give you the information reach out to me um i'll put my information in the description box reach out to me either on instagram or you know send me a shoot me an email tell me what you're doing tell me how far you've gotten um but don't allow money to be this reason why you're not doing something i started off cooking in my house i ain't gonna lie to y'all i started off cooking in my house i started off carrying a flat top from place to place i was prepping at home um and 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 just doing what I need to do to get to where I need to get. Once I got past all of that, I started doing things the right way. I, you know, I, I started getting my license. I started, you know, just hustling the right way. And, and, and eventually I got to where I am right now. I am by no stretch and by no means am I a, um, a perfect business owner or do I have the perfect business, but I'm working. Everybody preached about manifestation and I'm going to manifest this and I'm going to have this and I'm going to get this stuff. But the true and the genuine manifestations only work when you work them. I said, I'm sorry. You can manifest, you can say you manifest in all you want. If you don't work the idea, it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work at all. So, again, I told you I wasn't going to make these super long videos. Um, there's no reason for me to go over a certain amount of time because we just need to really build to where we need to get to. 
So this week is going to be the week where you just need to find out what you need to know. Um, I'll, I'm not going to promise I'm going to make a spreadsheet of what all you need to do and what all you need to ask, what all questions you need to ask. But I'm going to tell you that um, there will be spreadsheets available for you guys to put in how much money you make in this and third. And I'll show you how to do all that stuff. But if you have questions, reach out. I want to see you be profitable. I want to see you have a business grow and I want to see your business grow. Um, a lot of us are super emotional attached, attached to these businesses and it's going to hurt you in the end because sometimes when you use your emotions versus versus logic, you fail. I'm not going to lie to you. you. You absolutely fail. When you just say, oh, I'm I'm going to I'm going to just uh I'm going to I'm going to feel like this is the way to do things. It, it normally if it, it doesn't go it doesn't go well. But again, figure out what you need to do, figure out where you need to go, figure out who you need to talk to so you can become um a food trucker. That's it. I love y'all.